Welcome to Hanging Out with Robert, that's me. This video contains things that I tinker with throughout the day. For step-by-step -step detailed instructions of those tasks, you can click on the link in the comment section below. I plan on leaving this video accessible for about 30 days. After that, you can view it through my Patreon account. This video also has tips and tricks that I've learned over the years. So, thank you very much for watching. Kicking off the day, sunny Cincinnati. I'm going to uh, do a couple things to Little Red before I leave town. Hopefully, enter tie rod in boot. Tidy up a couple things on the cylinder head. I think I forgot to clip in that uh, safety and that hydraulic tensioner. Maybe put a couple heat shields on. Pack up the Panther. Might go get that wagon. Double check that heater core on it since I have one to replace it. Put that rear wing on that R and hit the road towards Chicago. There's that torn inner boot. I could do this two ways. I also see the fuel line things resting on it back there. I'll adjust that. But I could break this nut loose, turn that tie rod in all the way out, and uh, slide the boot over it without taking this out. Or I could take this out after breaking that nut loose, then count the turns to putting it back, which would probably be a safer bet on getting the alignment back right. So I'm going to try to do it that way. Knock this nut loose, pull this out after breaking that nut loose, slide that off of there and doing it that way. 11 turns got it off. So now I'm going to turn that nut off, get that boot out of there, adjust that fuel line, put the new boot on the zip tie, get this thing back on. So, the joint is not as loose as it could be. I don't feel any in and out clicking in it. Saved it in time, I think. I got some moisture out of this boot. At first, I thought it was hydraulic oil from the rack, but it looks like water and stuff got down in there. So, hopefully I'm good. One of my viewers actually gave me some of the harder plastic Volvo boots. I don't think and I hope this thing's not leaking. So, I don't have any rack issues. Let me get this boot on here, zip tight, put this back together. It's actually a Leffermore boot with the real clamps and stuff on it, so that's nice. So let me get this on, not the Volvo package, probably OEM supplier, but let me get it done. Clip the nylon thing on the tensioner. Now I'm going to put on a couple of heat shields real quick, secure these lines right here, and I'll be done with this vehicle for now. I was going to replace the timing belt, but I think it's fine. I would have noticed if it was bad when I had the head off. So, let's keep rolling. Shutting this down for now. Come back in June, probably do the timing belt. Belt only. I'm going to put the heat shields on. I'm going to do control arms. And whatever else is on my list. I got to get them a hose on order today. That hose, man, that thing is weak. So, this all for Little Red. I'm going to go and get that R. Check that heater core in it. If that heater core is fine, I'm going to pack it up. Hit the road. have this R here. I need to replace the uh, top O2 sensor. It looks like somebody has replaced some of the exhaust. Probably put an aftermarket cat on there. Looks like they also may have changed the rear O2 sensor. And in doing that, they probably put a wrong sensor in the rear. Gas mileage is horrible. Uh, I would probably rather replace the exhaust from the uh, turbo back to behind the cat with a Volvo one. And then replace this sensor. The sensor... Is right under the turbo. Near impossible to replace. I think I'm going to give it a try. 
from up here take this airbox tube out see if I can reach it do it that way and then uh, I need to see if this car has a replaced heater core real quick I need to get cracking so I can get out of here and that this little sticker is on the back of the heater core it looks like this thing says 97 so this is the original heater core I'm not going to leave that on the car so I'm getting ready to uh, pinch off the heater hoses put me a plastic bag under here swap this core out and work on getting an exhaust for this car I'm not going to do that O2 sensor just yet see the different color in these heater cores this one's getting old probably not far from failure this one's brand new just started to leak down in the crevices down near that white fluffy looking stuff so due to be replaced we're in doesn't appear to be leaking I put one more screw in there put the panel together and I'm out of here got a new cup holder thing from Swedish car parts so I'm gonna swap that out and I'll be done with this car for today if you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.